And that's going to put a little extra strain on both of these fighters. High hopes for this battle between these two athletes. There's a counter shot. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. Nice counter shot. Still swinging with nothing left. Nice counter. Well, this is a rematch over a decade in the making. Canelo Alvarez and Ryan Rhodes fought way back in 2011. Canelo Alvarez against my old pal Ryan Rhodes. Now these two fought in Guadalajara, Mexico, 2011 for the light middleweight title. Canelo won with a 12th round TKO. Ryan's tough, Ryan's hard, Ryan's, Ryan's an unbelievable athlete. I couldn't believe when Alvarez did that to him. Now these guys are gonna do it all over again. And again, a little bit older, a little bit smarter. So will Ryan Rose make any difference here? We can't forget that fight. Look at the success he had. And it took Canelo 12 rounds. 12 rounds to catch up to him the last time. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Good counter-punching for both these athletes. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They exchange punches. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose. On to the second round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Beautiful counter punch. Both men step back for just a moment. Locks the hook. It's code red time for Ryan Rhodes. Down goes the Spice Boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your eagle's hurt, your chin's hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and think, right, I'm back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. An open-air, outdoor stadium. What a venue for this contest. Our tactics are everything in this heat. The corner man, that one minute, that one minute is... It looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Huge momentum swing that's going to be considered. And there's the bell to start round three. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know they want to shake your leg. They went a nuts here away from getting stopped. Perfect counter shot. Nice exchange here from both men. Good 
punch. The counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little trick you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. He parries that left jab away. Just missed with that left jab. That one will count. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Back at it in round four. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Going for the finish. Is he still on his feet? That was the moment. <laughs> this counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher is one of the people that make the history of our sport. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Threw the hook, didn't land. Beautiful counter shot. Both men step back for just a moment. Should we be surprised if these two fighters go the distance tonight considering how much they've emphasized their physical fitness? The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed. You've got... Very close round with 10 seconds to go. <laughs> that bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. There's the bell to start round five. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? They have one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure. So that left lands. Wait a minute, he caught him clean. See,
seems like he's beginning to recover a little bit. We almost saw a knockout a second ago, and now they're going toe to toe. Good counter left hand there. Neither man really defending themselves. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. That left counter was perfectly timed. Did he finish the job? Didn't wait too long to get back and get engaged. Can tell he's stronger, but he's not fast, and that's exactly where he doesn't need to be. <laughs> Trying to just weather this tornado coming at him, and it appears a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's see how the game plan changes. Here we go in the sixth round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming up? He's getting everything, everything. It looks like he's going up for the finish here. His opponent with his guard up. How did they not go down? Fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. Nice job landing that left counter punch. But his jab just got blocked. Two are the perfect dance partners. And this with that jab. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. He just misses with that big right hand. Great counter right hand there. Punch, counter punch. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm. Because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Good counter punch. This round can go either way. Ten seconds to go. Good counter punching for both these fighters. What would you tell this guy he's got to do something different? Wow. Round seven, here we go. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Both want a knockout, you can tell. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Good counter right hand again. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Good right hand. Hey. 
Missed him with that uppercut. Nice counter punch. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Off the charts action from both of very close round with 10 seconds to the referee. Sure. And there's the bell for round eight. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's gotta hustle now. He's gotta, he's gotta bluff him. Catch and shoot. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. He fails to score with that left hook. Perfect counter lands. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just misses with that jab. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Nice counter shot. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's a net hill batter. He blocks the right uppercut. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. The bell. And there's the bell to start round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp, don't be a fool, don't get suckered in. Make him fight, you're fine. Hold him, tie him up, just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. Good punch. And a counter left. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You've got skill. You've got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Missing with the hook. Nice exchange here from both men. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Yeah! 
Pretty dominant round there. That's... And there's the bell for round 10. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Left counter score. Good counter punching. We've seen in the past in this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you don't think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little favor to pickpocket them. Both men step back for just a moment. Lands with the right counter. Neither man really defending himself. and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Nope, that hook won't score. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fights. Oh, Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think... What the hell am I going to do now? That left counter punch the score. On the right. You'd like to see more jabs. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Good left counter that lands. There's a counter shot. At this point, you got to believe. Let's start 11. After that last round, something has got to change. And he misses with that jab. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, will fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Counter punching. And you can see his legs are gone. Onward and upward after another knockout win here. That is going to be one of those what happened next shots. Where did it come from? How did he land? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't get knocked down. He got knocked out. I didn't mean out, out. <laughs>